Hello everybody, welcome to Pro-Am Brewing. Uh, today you get Greg. I know the excitement, you haven't seen Greg before. Here you go, quick look. Uh, today we're doing something a little different. We're not brewing today. We are going to make uh, a fermentation chamber. And to do that, we'll need a few things. Uh, I've got almost everything I need right here to show you. Uh, first off, you'll need a refrigerator of some kind, either a mini fridge or a full-sized fridge. Now, because I'm using a mini fridge, uh, we're going to actually uh, do a bit of a project and extend this. Because you can see, the issue we have right off the bat is that my fermentation bucket, my carboy, they won't quite fit in the mini fridge. Now, you can sometimes uh, take this the freezer and bend it down and remove that freezer door and give yourself some more height. Uh, but that is dangerous because you risk crimping uh, the, the Freon conduits. And if you do that, uh, you've ruined your fridge. So I prefer to just extend it. So to do that, what we're going to do is going to take this 2x6 and we're going to cut it to make a frame that goes all the way around the fridge. You, you see I've taken the door off. That's the first stage. And then we're going to build this, this extension and we're going to extend out the front of the mini fridge and we're going to fix that back on and that's going to allow us to extend plenty of room for our our fermenting bucket or our carboy and then we'll be able to put in our controls to to maintain temperature the way we want it what we'll need for this project this is almost everything I don't have my drill out here but I've got my table saw that I'm going to use to cut my 2 by 6s here I got my tape measure of course uh, I've got some T-plates, and these are what I'm going to use to affix the extensions, the 2x6 the extension onto the refrigerator. I'm going to use this and the glue, the Gorilla Glue, and then I'm just going to screw the extensions onto the front of the refrigerator. I've also got a hasp to close the door when I'm all done. I've got some washable paint that I can use that will make it pretty. And that's just about all of it. The only other thing I need is my drill and screws to actually put the frame together. So let's go ahead and get started on this and we'll walk you through the process. Okay, so we have uh, cut our 2x6 into our appropriate lengths. And I'm now going to take my handy dandy drill and pre drill some holes so I don't split the wood when I screw the frame together. So, we'll do that. Okay, and because I don't have Patrick here to help me with my video recording, you just get this in pieces. Uh, the easiest thing I did was I just made a line three quarters of an inch in, which is half the size of the board there. Uh, so I, I drew my line there, and I used my speed scare, and then I, I drilled down through there. And then I also pre-drilled these holes. So now it'll be super easy to put these together. And so again, I haven't pre-drilled this side yet because I wanted to show you. So I've got my holes pre-drilled on this side at the three-quarter line. So I'm just going to line these up just the way I want them. So they're perfectly straight and even. And then once they're all lined up, I'll pre-drill. And then it'll be really easy to put the screws in. And I'll have my frame put together. Okay, and just like that, you can see we've got our... Handy dandy extension frame that's going to extend out our refrigerator by six inches or so. And next I'm going to make it pretty. I'm going to give it a little paint job and uh, make sure it blends in nicely with the rest of the refrigerator. Okay, you can see I've affixed these T-bars and I used the short screws and I was very careful not to go through the other side, as you can see. So I've got a nice clean bracket to affix my frame to. I have to do the other side, and then we'll go check on our paint job. All right, so I have uh, applied my first coat of white paint on the interior of the box. And of course, that'll look all nice and white and shiny along with the rest of the fridge. It looks like it belongs when it's all done. Now we're going to go and uh, start working on brackets on the fridge itself. Okay, you can see I've got the uh, the brackets on, and I used screws and just a touch of Gorilla Glue. So 
we're going to let those set for a while. And we're, our first coat of paint is done on the inside of our frame, so we're going to go put our coat on. Okay, the next phase, I put the first coat of uh, dark paint on. And it goes on the outside, so it'll match the uh, refrigerator. So I'm going to wait about 20 minutes or so and put the second coat on. And once everything's dry, we'll be ready to put it onto the refrigerator. Moving right along. Okay, uh, you can see I have affixed the extension onto the refrigerator with the T-bars. I gotta clean up my glue a little bit and touch up my paint here and there, but we are pretty well done. As soon as the Gorilla Glue dries out, you can see I've got it expanding there in between the two. Uh, I've also Put the hinges on the bottom and the top, the door hinges, so we can open the door. So as soon as it's all dried up and finished, uh, we'll have ourselves a functioning extended refrigerator. And then I just have to put the controls in to control the temperature inside it, which we'll do on the next video. Hope you've enjoyed.